I move and ask unanimous consent to discharge Senate Bill 32, Crimes, Sentencing, Mental Illness, Evidence, from the Judiciary Committee. There's been an objection for purposes of explanation. Thank you, Madam President. First, I'd like to thank, um, in addition to the Madam President, the Minority Leader for objecting so that I can explain to my colleagues, but also more importantly to my constituents and other Alaskans why this is necessary. It has come to my attention that due to the new ethics law, I apparently have an indirect conflict with this bill which impairs the Judiciary Committee from work on the bill beyond the original version and public testimony. Because my husband works in a medical clinic as a primary care provider who occasionally treats Alaskans with serious addictions who are court ordered via the therapeutic courts to be on prescribed medications to block cravings for certain illegal drugs and for alcohol. It is the opinion of the ethics administrator of legislative legal and legal counsel that I should declare a conflict of interest, which, by the way, I did last week in the Senate Judiciary Committee. As background prior to this declaration, Madam President, in my efforts to fully understand every section, every page, every word of SB 32, during a meeting in my office, the Department of Law responded to one of my questions about SB 32. They mentioned the therapeutic courts and the fact that they do court order such medications. It dawned on me at that moment that my husband's medical clinic was relatively close in proximity to the courthouse in Palmer. And a small percentage of their patient load consists of patients who are court ordered to be on such med medications. Not unlike, I might add, other par primary care, cl care clinics in Mount Sioux. Because I am incredibly cautious when it comes to understanding and following our ethics law, at this juncture, my office made an inquiry to the Administrator of Legislative Ethics about the situation. This is the response that my office received, Madam President. Permission to read? Granted. It appears that SB 32 is designated as having an unspecified level of indirect impact on service, which is provided by the employer of the spouse of Senator Hughes. The measurement under the language of AS 24.60.030E is merely, in quotes, greater, end of quote, given the, quote, likely have an indirect impact, end of quote, assessment. I think a, a conflict of interest declaration is appropriate for SB 32. So this indirect conflict creates the following repercussions in the Judiciary Committee. As chair of the committee, I am unable to produce a committee substitute. I am unable to take meetings with the administration or the administration's team about the legislation or even speak with my staff about SB 32 in preparation for judiciary hearings on the bill. In fact, I am unable to take any meetings in my office with anyone, have conversations, engage in any discussion about the bill about someone's concern or ideas to change the bill, whether in person, on the phone, by email, or on social media, or in any context except in a public meeting. In fact, Madam President, I have been advised not to even send a simple reply thanking a constituent or an Alaskan for their input on SB 32. But this is not about me. This is about the work of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Madam President. My staff on behalf of the committee is unable to ask questions or communicate about the bill. My staff is unable to work with legislative legal to craft any changes to the bill that a committee member might request, which is what the staff of a chair of a committee needs to be able to do. I have even had to direct my staff not to load constituent emails and letters of support or opposition regarding this legislation onto basis because that could be considered an official action and subject me to an ethics complaint. These examples would all be considered official action, Madam President. Since it has been deemed that I have a conflict, these actions are not permitted under the recent changes to the ethics law. In summary, it is clear it is clear 
that work on SB 32 by the Judiciary Committee is impaired due to my conflict of interest as its chair. And because this piece of legislation and this, its discussion is of such importance to Alaskans, I ask that this bill be discharged from the Judiciary Committee, and I humbly ask for the sake of my constituents and for the sake of all Alaskans that you consider giving this bill an additional committee of referral so that my colleagues in this body can continue to work on the bill without the restrictions that I have as the chair of judiciary and as a result the restrictions that have also been imposed on the Senate Judiciary Committee itself. Thank you, Madam President.